Okay, so we've gone over the uh, voltage uh, control for the device, but what about the current control? How can you how can you measure the current? How can you monitor it? And how can you uh, do a feedback to limit the amount of current uh, coming out? So the current is going to be measured by this resistor here. So the voltage across the resistor is the amount of current that goes through it. And so uh, it all comes down to this one resistor here. It's a point four seven ohms, so very low ohm, so we'll have a very low voltage across it. But um, let's see how that can work. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, this right here. So we have a resistor and we have some current flowing through the resistor. Uh, there'll be a voltage V2 at the top and a voltage V1 at the bottom. And V2 minus V1 is going to be the voltage across the resistor. And so if we take uh, V1 minus V2, uh, V2 minus V1 divided by R, that will give us the current, right? So that, that's how we're going to do it. So we need to be able to do this in a circuit somehow. So first of all, we need to measure the, the difference across these two voltages. Now this might not be ground and this might not be ground, so we need to take the difference between the two. Well, we can do that with a, a difference amplifier. Okay, we've seen this before. We could take a difference amplifier and it'll, it'll take these two voltages. Let's say this is a four and a half and this is three and a half. Uh, then it'll give us one volt on the output. Uh, it'll it'll do that, right? So this is uh, this is uh, minus plus, I think. Is that right? Uh, yeah, that's right. Minus on the top, plus on the bottom. Okay. And uh, so once we have our voltage here, let's say this is uh, then. Uh, let's just give some examples here. Let's say this is four and a half volts, and this is three and a half volts. Then this would end up being one volt. And then we want to have a comparator that says, are we bigger than one volt or are we less than one volt, right? And so we can do that with inputting here. So we'll input a volt here. And then if it's bigger than a volt, it'll go up. And if it's lower than a volt, it'll go down. So we can put in a, uh, a circuit like this, right? So this requires two op amps. Um, it certainly would work. It certainly is good. But uh, let's see if we can do it with just one op amp, okay? So let's try to do it with one op amp. Okay, so where in this is all of that going on? So this, uh, this op amp is the voltage op amp. Here's the potentiometer, and it does its voltage thing. Here's the Darlington output, so that's being handled there. Uh, the, uh, the resistor, that 0.47 ohm resistor is down here, okay? And so we want to measure the voltage across this 0.4 ohms. Um, and the circuit that does that is over here. Uh, so it's drawn a very convoluted way. And so we'll, we'll, uh, we'll figure this out. But basically what it is, um, OK, so this is what's in the circuit. It's using a single op amp. And it's using that op amp in, in the comparator mode. So it's going to compare these two voltages and, and do one bigger than the other. Now, we have two voltages here, but they're never going to be the same. They're always going to be in one state. So we need to take this voltage, which is a little bit higher. So we'll have uh, this one's a little bit lower, OK? And we want to compare them. And we want to set some voltage. So let's say we want to have, uh, we want to set it so it's there's one volt across these two. But, but this is not going to work because this this only operates if these two are, are the same, right? It's going gonna, it's gonna to teeter-totter between when these two are the same. It's going to see one's bigger than the other. And so we're not going to have the right voltage here, right? Like in our case, we said we had, uh, let's say we had uh, four and a half on this side, and we had, we had three and a half on this side. And it's always going to be comparing three and a half with four and a half, and it's never going to work right. And so we need to turn this three and a half into four and a half somehow magically. So what if we uh, what if we put a resistor here and we pull this up a little bit, okay? And we set it so that the steady state condition of this whole thing is that this point here ends up being four and a half volts, okay? So this this maybe this is plus ten volts, and this is some some resistance that gives us this four and a half volts. And so it's basically, it's summing. It's summing this three and a half and this 10 volts and it's giving us four and a half volts, okay? 
And so that's the trick that this circuit uses. It uses, it uses this. And then it just makes, it basically just makes this a, a, a variable. And then we can set this difference to be anything we want. Um, and so it, 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 it it's, it's fancier, but it's a little, it's a little more complicated than this, but this is the idea. So if you, if you understand this, that that's what, the, that's what's going on here in the circuit. Now in the circuit, we have, let me see if I can get this right. Just a second. Let me draw it down first and then we'll come back and I'll, uh, and I'll show you how it works. All right. So this is how the circuit really is. Uh, we have the, the uh, uh, current going through the resistor. We have a uh, resistor here to going to the ground, uh, going to the minus, and then the plus uh, is, it looks, instead of it looking like this, it looks like this. It's almost the same, okay? So if you think of this is the, this is this point, so we have a resistor going over to the, over to the, uh, this resistor, so that, that's this part of the circuit. Right, this this part here, and then we have a pull up, which is this part of the of the circuit, and in this way we just have a potentiometer in the middle. So it's the exact same thing. It's just it's just drawn a little bit different, and, and values are a little bit different to give you better granularity and stuff. So um, that is how that works. Okay, and so um, so we can use the output of this. So how do we use the output of this to uh, uh, limit the current? Okay, the first thing they have in there is a circuit that turns that little light on. Remember, there's a light. Where's my board? I was hiding it out here. Remember when we went into constant current mode, this LED lit up, okay? So this is the circuit that lights up the LED. We have a, uh, what's the values they use here? Uh, they have a 10K. And they have a 10K. And they have a 2.2K. And that's all there is, okay? Then we have a little PNP transistor. So that's the way that, the, the, that this comes on, right? So when this goes low, this starts to conduct and the LED will turn on, right? So that's how that works. All right, so how do we now use it to turn off the, uh, uh, the voltage? Okay, so we're gonna create a signal here called CC. CC is gonna be our current control, okay? So current control, what are we gonna do with current control? Let's go back to an older circuit. All right, so you remember these, this, uh, let's, let's not do that one, let's do the fancy one. Okay. All right, remember this one? This is our voltage control, right? This, this is the potentiometer that controls uh, volts. You adjust the volts and this thing works, all right? And um, if it's, if it's uh, low, it's low voltage. And if it's high, it's high voltage, right? So we are going to tap in right here, okay? And we're gonna pull this wire down here, okay? And then we are going to put in a diode. And then we're gonna hook it up to CC, okay? So if CC is high, then it won't affect the circuit at all. And this will work just the way it's always worked. But if CC is low, it'll pull this and it'll stop the, the, it'll stop the voltage from getting out. It'll, it'll, it'll force this to zero, okay? And so that's how the, uh, that's how the circuit works. It has, a, it has a switching diode. Okay, this diode allows us to switch things without mucking things up. It's like an OR gate kind of thing, right? And uh, that particular resistor, I mean, uh, diode, is here D9, okay? So D9 uh, goes over to the plus input of the uh, voltage controlled op amp. And so uh, there we go. So we have that comparator circuit that looks at the voltage across that resistor. And then we have this diode in here that goes in and some people say crowbar or, or uh, it, it uh, grabs this node and starts pulling it down. Now it's gonna pull that node down until that comparator flips states again, then it'll let go of it, and then it'll pull down to let go of it, depending on if it's bigger or bigger or smaller. And so it'll set a particular voltage. Whatever you have the uh, comparator set to, it will keep that voltage 
at the point where the current is where you want it to be. So that's how the current control works.